This is, I think, the premier conference now for sales leaders. I think sales, for me, is by far the most premium conference that I've spoken at in South Africa. If you're a business leader looking to make a difference in your own sales team, I don't know any other place you can go to. So it's not just a rah-rah salesman, salesperson event where everybody comes for a bit of tonic in the middle of the year. It really does bring some thought leadership and, and I really do think that if you're a sales leader, you'll get two days of insights that will set you up for the next 12 months. I've been here the last four years for Think Sales. The specific nuggets we take back to the organization and we're going to transform the organization. The team will go away next week, uh, spend three hours together. We're in the three-year business planning cycle and we will definitely apply the learning. We are 10 people from African Bay. Our first time, I brought my whole team. It's been very professional. Very enlightening, very thought-provoking, a lot to learn, and we've just been so excited of being here. It's really an international convention. I'm going to use the five pillar plan to present to my exco on the way forward. The Think Sales Convention is absolutely world class. The organization of it, the, the high level strategic thinking about how the different pieces fit together, the quality of the speakers that they bring in, and the um, just the, the whole level of interaction and engagement between speakers and, and delegates and participants is just phenomenal. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Think Sales Sales Leadership Convention. I know that you are here because you have one key objective. You want to make shift happen inside your sales organizations. A lot of people talk like battleships, but they walk like robots. The ability to act, the leader has to lead through example. Folks, it does not serve us to be small. What is this convention about? It's about being great. It's about shifting. It's about moving from a space of perhaps mediocrity to one of I have a bigger vision, an aha moment. We could either study Fortune 500 companies, it's okay, or if you want, we could use a bear fighter, the business of ugly, retro video games, reclusive billionaires, rap stars, and maybe even ex-criminal entrepreneurs. What do you want to learn from? Do you want to learn from Fortune 500s or ex-criminals? Ex-criminals! I love you guys already. just announced earnings of $10 billion. This is not a dot-com boom, guys. This is not a bubble that's gonna burst. This is the new reality.